Nick, if anything goes wrong, that's fun thing to get. Okay, so this session will be about you receiving some information about Wikimedia 2024, which I hope you are very, very, very excited about. But Ooh. also, yes! yes! Woo! Just a quick check. Who know what will be the theme or the spirit of Wikimedia 2024? Raise your hand. <gasps> yes, it's good, Wojciech, that you know because you will be designing the program, so that's... <laughs> Quite good. Okay, so we will make sure that this is one of the informations that you will get. And then we will go to the very important uh, part, because since Wikimania is a regional and global effort, we need your help to design it with us, and this will be your task for today. But we will start with Lisa McCabe from the Wikimedia Foundation joining us Yay! from far away through the wonders of technology. Again, we don't have the mic, so we need to do our best to hear Lisa. Lisa, go ahead. Okay, hi everyone, I hope you can hear me. And I hope the conference is off to a really great start. I just wanted to introduce myself just to let people be there today to say hello. Um, I'm the lead project manager working with Wikimedia here at the foundation. I'm really looking forward to working with obviously Wojciech, Kabi, Shimon, uh, Mache and Natalia on everything that we're looking ahead um, for next year and hoping that we can get some more of you all involved as well to support across all the different bits of work um, to make the, the 2024 event a, a big success. Just so you all know as well, in terms of the support that the Foundation will give, we have loads of teams behind the scenes here. Everything from communications to legal to marketing to social media to uh, finance so there's a, a whole kind of web of people that um, I will link into to support the event as well from now from the get-go all the way through to kind of post event so really looking forward to working with you all and hearing some of your ideas as well thank you I'll show you the screen, uh, the slide, so you can see them. <clears throat> Lisa, can you see the screen? All good. All good. Okay. Great. So. Okay. Uh, it's and when it comes to Wikimedia, we will know who does what, where, and the <laughs> yes. yeah, growing. Uh, when the hotel is your task, that one. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 like, yes, luckily for Wikimania, uh, the uh, responsibilities are pretty well uh, shared in our team with the. <laughs> As you can see. Uh, <laughs> we'll be sure nobody will be pushing anybody for, from the computer. Uh, thank you all uh, very much for coming to the session about Wikimedia 2024. Shimon, next slide, please. I would like to start with the introduction uh, of our team. Uh, there is many people behind Wikimania, some of them involved uh, for a quite prolonged periods of times already. Some people uh, joined just a few weeks ago, and we hope that after the CE meeting, we'll have the pleasure of working with even more and more people from the CE with their energy and all of their different ideas. Uh, I'd like to welcome the people that are here today with us, uh, starting with the uh, core organizing team uh, of uh, Kabi, Wojciech, and Shimon. Yes, welcome to them. <laughs> uh, Yes, uh, and uh, yes, Wojciech uh, will be uh, responsible for the program. It's our head of program. Uh, he'll be responsible for uh, making sure that all of the sessions are to your liking. So if there are any, any problems with the program, you know who to talk to. Yeah. Uh, Kabi will be our master of scholarships. We'll be working on a process to bring as many weeks We'll be working with as many people as possible. Uh, we'll be working with Kabi to bring as many people as possible to Poland next year. We hope that we'll be able to offer a much more streamlined process than in pre previous years, and more and more people will be able to see Wikimania, to see Poland, to see the energy of the CE. 
Shimon is currently responsible for partnerships and communication. He will be also responsible for coordinating the hackathon and the technological and the tech projects regarding uh, Wikimania as a whole, bringing his many years of experience working with the product and tech departments in, Wikime uh, in Wikimedia as a whole and the Wikimedia Foundation. That's not a task for one Shimon. Exactly, that's not a task for one Shimon. Luckily, I don't know how, there are always free Shimons. Shimon doesn't sleep. Uh, there is also many people supporting us uh, that we couldn't have done with, without. You've already met Lisa that is joining us on the Google Meet. Uh, she's leading the foundation team responsible for Wikimania. Uh, and together with her, it's Natalia. We've been uh, benefiting from the support. Yes. We've been benefiting from the support of Natalia from the day one. Uh, she's been helping us. What's your role in this? Never mind. Uh, no, we, we've been helped by uh, Natalia since day one, and we, help her, uh, we would like to thank her for her help a lot. It wouldn't have happened without the support from the Movement Comms and with Natalia here. We are also joined by uh, Natalia Cvik over there on the back, the uh, Executive Director of Wikimedia Poland and our liaison to the national chapter uh, that will be helping us facilitate the work with the Polish community and the employees of Wikimedia Poland and uh, also Anton Pratschuk here in the middle, uh, a member of our advisory committee and core organizing team member for Wikimedia 2022. Yes, so for now uh, you've met us and we hope that today we'll be able to meet you and well, use your energy, use your ideas, preferably without using you. <laughs> next slide, please. Uh, next slide. Yes. Uh, as, as I said during the closing of Wikimania 2023, 20, uh, it truly takes a village to make Wikimania. It is a group process. Uh, it was never done by one person. It was never done by one group of people. This year, I believe that together with the foundation staff and the volunteers, it was over 70 people involved at some point at Wikimania, from the biggest of things, big projects, to the smallest of things of uh, volunteering during the event and helping the organizers make sure that the sessions run smoothly. We hope that together with the support of you, of your chapters, of your communities, we'll be able to organize an even better event for the next years to come. Yes, it is our village. I would now like to yes, welcome. I would now like to welcome Tomasz, the president of Wikimedia Poland, that will talk a bit about Wikimedia Poland, its support, and the Polish community. Hello. It works. It works. It works. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm very happy to meet you here. I'm Tomasz Wszeborowski, chair of uh, Wikimedia Polska. And uh, I will say some words about uh, our country and our community. Our country is in the center of Europe, uh, 38 million population, and uh, our capital is Warsaw, and Krakow was our uh, former capital, also near Vistula River. And uh, the third uh, main city in Gdańsk uh, is Gdańsk. Uh, it was uh, the host of Wikimania in 2000. Uh, then, then, yes, then, thanks to Wojciech, and uh, Poland is the second country in the world uh, having Wikimania second time. Only United States have did privilege before. Uh, and uh, what about the community? Uh, Polish Wikipedia is one of the uh, oldest. Uh, we started uh, uh, in September 2001, so we have uh, best date. 22? 26 of September. 26th of September. And uh, our chapter, Wikimedia Polska, uh, has uh, also a long uh, history. We started in 2005, uh, one of the earliest chapters having agreement with Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, our, uh, we have uh, more than 140 members. Our community is quite big, quite well known, as you know, uh, people from Poland are uh, quite uh, well known. So uh, as a chair, I'm very, very happy to have uh, this uh, event in Poland and I hope uh, how that we meet uh, almost everyone here uh, in Krakow and I'm so happy that so wonderful team is doing that, uh, doing that event and I'm so happy that that will be in Poland. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
Yes, it has been created in Thank Krakow. Uh, please, uh, the next one. Next one. We've already thanked the foundation. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, the CE Hub for their support. We've been uh, already discussing with the CE Hub coordinator, Barbara Klen, multiple times. We hope that we'll be able to uh, work Wikimania into the yearly plan for the Hub for next year, and that uh, we'll be able to put the Hub into Wikimania as well, so uh, both sides can benefit from this relationship, uh, as well from uh, multiple members of uh, Wikimedia CE Hub steering committee, uh, two of them present right here. Anthony is the third one, but even those that aren't part of our team have already helped us. Yes, they have, they have helped us uh, greatly already. And we hope that we'll have a chance to work with even more of you, your communities, your affiliates, uh, both online and then later in person in Singapore. Uh, I would now like, uh, in Krakow, sorry, not in Singapore. I would now like to ask uh, Wojciech Pędzich to talk to you about our spirit and what we have in plans for you for 2024. Thank you, Maciej. Um, as I said during the closing ceremony of Wikimania 2023 in Singapore, uh, we have abandoned the idea of a theme. That sounded too big, too pompous for us. We're simple folk. So we decided to go ahead with what we call the spirit. And the spirit is one sentence that describes everything, the collaboration of the open. We would love to collaborate. We love to collaborate. This is what the CE community has been founded on, on several years of collaboration. And we want to be open. We want to have open knowledge. We want to have open data. We want to have open education. We want to have open art. We want to have open technology, open research. And we're hoping to include this collaboration of the open as the spirit of Wikimania 2024 in all the program tracks and in all the extra activities that we're planning to do in the, uh, during the event. Yep. Yes, uh, thank you Wojciech. For many years Wikimania has been an amazing event, but it was mostly an event for Wikimedians and people that are working on us on a daily basis. It is our goal that for Wikimania 2024, we'll be able to welcome people that do not have uh, contact with Wikimedia on their daily basis. We hope to add, uh, ask researchers, uh, ed educators, people that work in museums, archives, all of the glam workers. We hope that by our op most optimistic scenario that we will have up to one third of all attendees of Wikimania, people that are not active Wikimedians. That we'll be able to invite people that will bring more diversity, more insights into our work, and we'll be able to tell them more about our projects, so they and can use it. Yes, and more open collaboration, so they, will, so they will know more about our projects, but we'll also know more about their work, which can only benefit both of our groups. Uh, last slide now, please. Also the next one. But that was true. Yes. Uh, uh, continuing with this oversold joke already, we'd like to see you in Krakow and we'd like to see you at Wikimania. Uh, for those that do not know the story, this logo that one I have on my shirt, shirt right now has been created in like, think like 30 minutes. After Wikimania has been announced that it's going to be in Poland, the community of the Central Eastern Europe came together on Telegram and they created a word Wikimania written by all of the different scripts of alphabets used in our region. Every, the every, every letter you see here is used from different script. Uh, we have Latin script, we have our own Polish diacritic signs. Uh, we even have an A omelette from Austria, which is an honorary member of the C region. And we hope that we can recreate the spirit of co-creation that this logo has been brought to us uh, today. Uh, given uh, all of you here in this room, we would like to focus talking to you on the three topics that you can see here uh, on this board. Uh, we will now divide you into three groups, each uh, run by a different person, either by Shimon, myself, or Wojciech. And those groups will talk for 15 minutes on one topic. And then your leader will go to another group. Uh, let's say I leave you and Wojciech comes and you switch topic and talk about the other one. One will be program. 
will be wanting to gather your ideas and your feedback regarding the program tracks that you would like to see. Uh, what can we change in the program submissions? What session types. Session types, yes. What, what basically would you like to see program-wise at Wikimania? The second group will start with the original cooperation. How can we make sure that the most of the C origins presented at Wikimania? How can we make sure that the most of our skills are shared, are used, are presented to the, Wikimania, to the wider Wikimedia world? And the, third last, and the third last but not the least group will be talking about online participation and platforms. Uh, this year's the event brought 600 people in person but over 2,000 people online. We want to make sure that uh, their experience is as valuable as those people that were able to make it to Krakow in person. We want to make sure that, uh, first of all, we can bring those people together on some platform, and then we can make sure that it's as inclusive as possible for the most people to join. Uh, the idea is to gather all of your ideas also together and use them. Use them Yes, uh, so uh, because I always, I didn't always want to be a teacher, but I always wanted to have like the authority and the power of the t t teacher. Uh, I, s I see that you are already sitting in a group knowing each other and teachers hate that. So now I will ar arbitrarily count to three and divide you into three groups. Please remember your number, there will be no repetitions. Uh, so basically, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Thank you.